Good morning everybody. This is hole 4 at Bethpage Black and uh, this is a, a very birdieable hole but not so easy to get an eagle here unless you have a very very accurate second uh, approach shot. Furthermore the pin position would help. Uh, what, what often happens is the pin, if the pin is close to the front of the green you haven't really got much chance of an eagle. But uh, if it's in the middle or the back of the green, then you do. So what we'll do is we'll start here with a driver. We want to use about 280 power. Um, full backspin to get the ball to fly, land and stop. And 280 is going to be about there. And I've missed the ding badly on that. That's in the garden spot. Making maximum use of the fairway that's available to us. Any harder and it would have rolled into the rough over here. And in that case, your best bet is to lay up on this side. I uh, often see players laying up on this side. It's a safer thing to do. You want to hit your shot anywhere here. And then you have an approach shot from there. You have an approach shot to the green. 40, 50, 60 yards maybe. However, if you're brave, you can go for the flag, but you need to keep in mind that it's an elevated green. This particular shot is looking at about 12 yards additional to the 174, so about 186. Because it's 35 feet above the flag. There's hardly any wind to speak of. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for the green. We're going to take the risky approach. 180 iron, 6 iron rated at 180 yards won't get us there. So we need to then club up to a 5 iron. And now we want to put full backspin on the ball. And the reason I'm saying that is because when you're hitting to an elevated green, the ball tends to skid and it tends to shoot forward. And that might still happen with the shot because these balls that I'm using don't really offer much spin anyway. Regardless, we do also don't want to land short because if you land short, you use the wrong iron, you're going to end up either in the bunker or in the rough. And obviously we don't want that. What you want is the best the best thing you can do here is to go for a birdie. Eagle is always nice. If you get a if you get a straight putt maybe you can still make the eagle. But a birdie is probably a more realistic goal. And uh, so aim for the birdie. Getting a par here is only good if you've if you've hit a bad shot. But getting a par here under normal circumstances is not really good. This is a very, very birdieable hole, and there's no reason why anybody shouldn't be making birdies here, other than if you make a mistake. So since this hole is playing at about 186, we want to use a club up, which now I've used my 5 iron, rated at 195. I'm going to put full, full backspin on this. I'm going to give it full power, expecting it to carry in the region of 185, probably land near to the hole might kick forward and finish over here somewhere I don't know for sure, let's have a look and see what happens full power hit the ding and see what I mean about the kick forward full backspin didn't get the ball to stop enough however and I did say 185 yards so my calculations were very, very accurate, and I did anticipate that we would finish past the hole in this region. Alright, so what we're going to do now is now we're looking at an eagle putt. This, this is not a bad thing. I mean, to get to get onto the green in two here and be putting for an eagle is fantastic because if you you know that if you miss it, even if you just play safe, you are guaranteed a birdie. Alright, so we're going to take a look at this. And take a look at this butt. Definitely breaking from right to left. This is a standard speed green. If you want to just aim outside, yeah, it's not going to break too much. Obviously, I'm aiming for the hole, but there's a chance that it finishes around the hole, two to three feet around the hole. Two feet should be safe. 
I just want to make sure I get a birdie. An eagle would be great, but a birdie is a guarantee. Right, as you can see, I've narrowly missed the eagle. Not a big deal. We can say try putt, take mulligan. Let's try it again. Aim outside right over here. Give it a bit more power this time. Now we've hooked it. I was early on the ding and as a result that's pushed the ball left. Let's take another mulligan. Alright, let's try and get the ding this time. It's important to aim out there. Right, that might drop. No, it won't. Just, just. Either way, you can see that every time it's close to an eagle and birdie is always a guarantee. Aim outside here again, maybe a little bit more this time. Alright, we've narrowly missed the ding and that should sink almost. Alright, either way, as you can see, this hole is a very birdieable hole. And uh, yeah, that's hole four at Beth Page Black. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please feel free to comment, like, subscribe. I would really appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching.